Collective, wherever you are, I hope you're somewhere safe, surrounded by love, light, and happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much hope. Real quick, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button, please? Please hit share, click the share, and please hit subscribe, and turn that notification bell on to all. You can always be updated whenever I put out a message out there for you guys. And if you like the video, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but if you wish to, we appreciate it. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom up, but with all of my heart, to anyone and everyone who chooses to do so, and to everyone who has. And thank you, thank you, thank you. No doubt this is what it is, simple. Um, and for the membership system, for thanks and everything. Um, yeah, so, right quick. Yeah, y'all thought that was funny. Y'all gonna regret that. No, that we're back. <laughs> okay, collectives, they're out here playing around. Um, they're, you know, currently doing some, some little, you know, bullcrap. Um, I asked Spirit if it was just me or if it's being going, if, or if I should mention it, you know, in their reading and I was told to mention it. So it's happening to some of you as well. Um, protect yourselves. Okay, that's why I just had to say that. Alright, they're doing some sort of woodcraft or something or some sort of spell, hocus pocus, bullcrap, whatever the hell they're doing. It's not gonna work. They're, it's, it, it's, it was stopped before it even, um, before it was even started, okay? They're going right back to them. They're attacking themselves, so I'm gonna knock it off. Um, but it is what it is. Let's still cleanse that energy, okay? If you out of nowhere started getting that sewage smell, you got a headache out of nowhere, so you just got a craving feeling or anything, it's that's what it's from. Um, you know the signs. Uh, yeah, just protect yourself, okay? Cleanse your energy, cleanse your area. Um, you know, uh, what else works really good if you get, especially if they're um, attacking your finances too, you want to get salt water or get like a spray bottle. Um, you can get water, put, you know, sea salt in it. You can put cinnamon in it. For, um, cinnamon helps attract finances and like it to banish away any like, you know, financial blockages. Um, bay leaves, you can put in there as also for finances too. Um, what do you call it? I had to put a blank. Uh, cloves and cloves, okay. Also, with the clove and the salt water, like that'll also help with any if they're having if they're sending monitoring spirits towards you, you know, to get like the ants and stuff like that coming towards you, it'll help with that, okay. Any insects or anything, but get it in the water, um, you know, but be careful if you're putting or like if you put like the um, like with the clove and stuff, depending on what kind of spray bottle, cloves are bigger, so they don't really get stuck into the spray bottle, um. Rosemary, that was the other thing I was thinking of, rosemary. What you want to do is let it sit, right? Put it in a bowl, mix it up in a bowl or like a container. Let it sit for a while um, so it can get all like the food juices and everything and then strain it into your spray bottle or else, you know, you'll end up getting your, your spray bottle um, jammed up, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But, um, and just spray it around your doorways, your windows, um, you know, uh, what I do is like how I do it with the what I do with the the spades, you know, like I do it into like a cross, and then like an affinity sign, you know what I mean? Uh, but you can do it however you want. But just spray it around your doors, you know, your doorways, in your room, around your windows, and you know, in all four corners of your room or your house or wherever you are, um, and banish out any negative energy, any money blockages, any financial blockages or curses, and you know, return it back to sender or whatever you want to do. They're going to learn the hard way, okay? Everything, like I was saying in the last reading, um, I don't know how many readings it's going to be for now because I'm on my actual cell phone, so it takes longer to upload. But um, the last reading I just did, which I don't know if there's going to be another reading for that or not, but um, they're going to learn the hard way because they're everything, they're, all the lies they spread about you and everything they're saying about you or they want onto you, they manifest it into their life. So, like they're going around lying on you saying you have an STD, right? They're ending up STDs. They wanted you to be in poverty. They're losing their homes or cars. They're going to be in poverty. Everything that they're saying and all the lies they spread about you is really the truth about them and it's manifesting into their life. They're going to learn to keep your name out of their mouth. They're going to learn you know, to stop talking shit and spreading lies about you and to other people as well. Unfortunately, 
that are going to happen are in a hard way. I don't want you to know it's a will on anybody. It's like, you know, this is what they're manifesting into their life. What you put out is what you get. It's common sense. And before you're going around talking shit about people and spreading lies about people, know who, and trying to curse people, know who you're trying to curse. You've picked the wrong ones. And what's crazy is some of these people know how spiritually protected you are, know how spiritually rich you are, and yet they're still at it. It makes no sense. It's like they have a unalivement wish. Like, they just don't want to do it themselves, so they keep doing it, like, but it's still committing 5150. It's still committing this. And God knows what their intentions are. They're just too scared to do it themselves, and that's another thing. They're they're trying to do fifty one fifty stuff on you, so some of them are going to end up taking their own life. It is what it is. All I can say is repent, 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 while you might possibly still have time. All right, let's get into the reading. I hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day, wherever you are. Someone's name could begin with a P. Patrick, Patty, Patricia, um, and you. Uh, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Pete. That's what Pat <laughs> is. Yeah. <laughs> right. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors. Oh, and another thing, they're, they're um... There's already somebody currently doing it, and there's other people that are, like, actually like, getting, they're talking about it, they're getting ready. You might want to sit down right now. Don't even do it. Heed this warning. Do not do it. You will regret it. It's not even going to affect us. It's not smart. Sit down. But, you know, but you gotta remember, guys, I don't know if you guys feel the upgrades. I definitely, definitely do. Um... New levels, new devils, you know, so just be mindful of that. I know you are protected, I mean. Filled out the, the significant, I'm using the um, anatomy, the, the antique anatomy deck. Someone's name could be Bill or Billy. My friend Tattoo Billy, someone could do tattoos. My friend Tattoo Billy um, got me this deck when we went to the Mudder Museum in Philadelphia um, a few months ago. Uh, it's probably about almost a year ago now, I remember. <laughs> it's been a while, actually. It's like six months, eight, six or eight months ago. But, um, yeah, the Modern Museum can be significant. Um, antiques can be significant. Um, somebody can be into anatomy. Alright, let's see what's hitting for. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Lovers, the Past, Below. What is the collective need to know? We have the Moon and the Knight of Coins. Which is the Knight of Pentacles. I'm just going to refer to them as such traditional. You know what I mean? You you have some sort of like hidden reason. Like you have like a hidden um like you don't see coming possibly. Maybe a job offer or a level up possibly. Something financial. Or you're keeping it quiet. Maybe you did level up and like maybe you did get a raise or something. Or when you get this raise you're being told. Keep your mouth shield. <laughs> shield. I meant sealed. Yeah, exactly. Put a shield. Make sure you are praying over your finances and your work and, you know, protecting your work, whatever you are doing, because they are attacking it. But yeah, you have some, when you get this raise or this job offer, this promotion, whatever this is, just keep it to yourself, okay? Celebrate with God, Jesus, and the angels, you know, and ancestors and loved ones that passed away. Don't be out letting anybody know because they're, you know, every time they find out you get a level up, they go to attack it. <laughs> Confirmation, excuse me. And this could even be, yeah, this could even be like a hidden, um, something that you don't see coming. It's about maybe a job offer you don't see coming, or it's just going to be like, you're going to get a blessing. Maybe, or if you have, for instance... You don't have to have a platform, but like this is the easiest way to describe this. If you have a, if you do have one and someone donates to you, like I don't really know any other jobs where they donate, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm just saying a platform. It doesn't have to be, it can be anything. It could just be somewhere where you get, like if you're a waitress, you're going to get a huge tip, okay? Yeah, like, like for instance, like that, yeah. Like if you have a job where you get tips, someone's going to leave you a beautiful tip 
or a donation or uh, this could be a, like a lottery winning. I don't promote playing the lottery. I'm highly against it actually. Um, it's some sort of win you're going to get, but I feel like it's like a raise or more job offer. And you either don't see this coming, but even if you do see it coming, or no matter what, you're being told to keep it hushed, okay? Because somebody that you're letting know you're like that you're celebrating with, or like you get excited and you tell, they're going back and telling the wrong people, they're telling other people. I don't know if it's intentionally, or like if they're like, you know, what I mean? they might be um, happy for you and like, you know what I mean, and like just bragging for you. But you're being told stop doing that because it's either way somehow whether it's doing it on purpose or like you know they're doing it like because they're they're proud of you they're going and telling the wrong people okay so they're around somebody that's a snake or they're purposely doing this okay so just keep it to yourself okay continue moving in silence is the best way that's the best way to go with it The Nine of Cups, you're getting ultimate wish fulfillment. Beautiful. Somebody might be doing a love spell on you. Someone's name could be Chanel. Somebody could be in pharmaceuticals. But whatever this is, it's like a secret, you have like a secret wish coming true. Or you don't see this coming. Your wishes are coming true. Um, that's beautiful. Or maybe this job offer is secretly, like, you maybe already got this wish and you're keeping it, like, maybe a wish did come true and you're keeping it secret. Or, like, when this wish comes true, you're being told, like, hey, just keep it to yourself, okay? But your dreams are coming true, sweetheart. This is ultimate wish fulfillment. And maybe whatever it is that you're doing for work, you're getting ultimate wish fulfillment, but just keep it shh, shh, hush, hush, you know what I mean? Beautiful, I love it. I love this energy. Like, you know, like, for instance, like, I've been praying for, like, um, peace and clarity, you know, truth and clarity. Um, and, like, I literally, like, I'm looking at this as if it's a dream come true, it's a wish come true, literally. Um, for the last two days, this is the longest I've ever had, like, such calmness and, um, uh, relaxation and tranquility, you know what I mean? And I absolutely am enjoying every second of it. Uh, and ex extremely grateful. King of Coins, whatever this is, it's going to put you in the King of Pentacles energy. Or maybe you are, and you're just keeping it hush. You're secretly, or like, okay, so maybe even if, you know, 5D, you're already this King of Pentacles. You, whether you're masculine or feminine, you're already is trickling down into the 3D or maybe something happened that you don't see coming or you or it did happen you're just keeping it quiet as you should but or like there's something that's that's a job offer or a raise or something maybe you're, like if you have a platform you could even just be going viral overnight you know and you don't see it coming and like you're just gonna wake up and all of a sudden you're gonna be rich you know what I mean something like that like <laughs> you know something like that or like you're gonna get like you know um I think that's the best way I can describe it like or, okay, if you know your own business, like, you're gonna wake up tomorrow and have, like, a million, you know, um, missed calls with, with customers, like, they're all gonna start buying your product, like, or, like, ordering your product, or whatever it is, okay, um, yeah, and, or you're secretly, like, you don't, you're unaware that you're already rich, that could be it, too, because if something was stolen from you or hidden from you, and you're about to get it back, like if it's an inheritance or something, or maybe you have to check in your investments, maybe check your investments, like if you have stocks, bonds, and stuff like that, or if you just been letting go and letting God and haven't been checking, um, your research, like your finances or whatever, you might not even know you have like some sort of hidden blessing or something, something like that's happening here, okay? And I feel like there's something about a king of pentacles, some sort of secrets that a king of pentacles is also holding from you, you're about to find out about. This could even be like a love offer or um, it could be that a job offer. Maybe it's a king of pentacles that wants to come in and offer you a job that's going to put you or a promotion or something like that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be your ultimate dream job with the nine of cups, you know what I mean? And it's going to put you into this king of pentacles energy, whether you're masculine or feminine.
Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do you need to wear up at this time, please, and angels? Guns and Roses, knock, 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 <laughs> knock on me. <laughs> yes. um, Guns and Roses, knock on heaven's door is playing in my head. Somebody's losing their job. Um, okay. Somebody in a law enforcement is losing their job. They're going to have to, they're handing in their badge and they're, they're gone. I guess they abuse their power. If y'all know the song, y'all know what I'm talking about at the very beginning. I'm going to take this badge for me. I can't use it anymore. Oh, shit. It's your ex. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> your ex, possibly, if they were a cop or a crooked cop. If they're losing their job. Or maybe they worked with your ex. Two of cups in the reverse. Someone's last name could be Fitzpatrick. They're definitely, there's a return to sender to a love spell as well that's going back to them. There's somebody's over drinking. They're drinking their pains and sorrows away. Somebody could be Irish. 77 could be significant. And 83 could be significant. Now it says 1877, but I mean, I doubt, like, unless it's angel number 1877 or 1883, but I'm looking at it as. You know, 83 and 77. But you can look up the angel numbers if you want to. Somebody has a lot of passion for you secretly. Somebody has like bone marrow disease or something like that. They have some sort of like bone marrow disease or something like that. Someone's name could be Gerald. Or Jerry. Or someone needs to get like bone marrow transplants or something or something like that. Someone won't I don't know why I'm getting that very um No, any of these names I just said you it could be your name or somebody involved in the situation or a passed on loved one that is speaking to me and through me, um, to and for you. Somebody needs to water their plants. Don't overwater for them, obviously, but guys, if you're, if you have trouble watering your plants, all right, they have these little bulbs right here. Let me show you one. I just put my little plant in. They have these bulbs. You can fill it up with water and you just stick it into the dirt. You know what I mean? And, and it waters it itself. Or if you have an old wine bottle, that's what made me think about you have to water your plants. Um, that's not for everybody, obviously, but for somebody you need to, um, you can get, if you have an old wine bottle, you can fill it, you know, obviously make sure you rinse it out, um, and really good, and you fill it with water, and you put it upside down, or if you're going on vacation, maybe that's what this is, if you're going on vacation, you can get a bowl or a cup of water, and you get a tissue, I mean, a paper towel, right, and wrap it into, like, you know, you, you spin it into, like, a, like, you're, you're probably gonna need, like, depending on how big your plant or how many plants you have, you might need a whole roll of paper towels, but you get, um, a bunch of paper towels and you just twist them right so it looks kind of like a um what do you call it like it's like one big string that comes out you know and you have it make sure it hits the bottom of the, the glass in the water you know so fill, fill the bowl up with water make sure the whole towel is wet the whole thing and you pick it up and where's my my pants all right i'm getting ready to this is like a little itty bitty guy because i'm just getting um I'm starting to make um, two rose bushes like out of this, but you just take it, you know, there's a bowl here with the, the paper towel in it, and you stick it up, and you go like, you wrap it around the, the soil, you know what I mean, and you let the wet paper towel sit there, and it'll actually act like a filtration um, system, and it'll work while you're away, okay, it'll work while you're, while you're on vacation, maybe somebody's going on vacation, Somebody's um, shedding old skin. 
like you're, you're getting rid of the old and getting coming in with the new, okay? Or leaving like old habits or something or behaviors behind or something like that. That's amazing. Good job. Um, I'm proud of you. Okay, that's awesome. I mean, it could even be possibly your ex. Yeah, your ex is spying on you. <laughs> oh man, come on, bro. They're spying on you. <laughs> they're also being watched, though. As they're watching you, they're being watched. <laughs> okay. Let me see what's over right here. Hmm. You're protected. You're gonna need some sort of quick communication, okay? About them being like watching you. Or creeping on you. Somebody could have made a copy of your key. I'm strongly getting that. Possibly even your car key. Okay. They um, either are breaking into your house. Or they, they could have a key maker. Because if you look at this page of swords. This is a spying card right. Now look real close. Doesn't that look like a car key. Like what, like old one or like a file. But like the, what, the key maker is like it, the. It reminds me of like a, one of those keys. The car keys that you pull out. And it's like flat. You know what I mean. It looks like a key. Somebody could have, they could have been spying on you. They could have made a copy of your key, whether it be your house and or your car key, possibly. Or they could have a key maker or they could be breaking into your home when you're not there. They could have two keys of yours because there's two of them here. There's one at the bottom. But they're being watched coming into your house when you weren't home. This is significant to me. It's my apartment. I didn't think y'all did I know about that. I know all about it. You're on camera. I thought you were slick, bitch, because you was on camera, homie. <laughs> well aware what you did. Been known. Two exes could have, or two people could have a copy of your key, or they could have two different keys. But they were being watched, okay? Not only by you, not, like, not only by your cameras, but they were being watched by the authorities coming into your home. That is definitely a key. There are two different keys. And they're going down. It's been enlightened. If you really look close to the skull, I never noticed this before. It's, it looks like a sun. It's been enlightened. Like, they've been watched. Maybe possibly two different exes or two different people that has a spare key. Or it could be like a neighbor and an ex that has a key to your house. They've been exposed. Or a friend or somebody or a family member. They've been exposed. They made a copy of your key. They're attacking. Um, somebody could have got hit. In the above their right eye as well, like they're or they could be having like somebody might be having a brain aneurysm. Somebody could have a brain aneurysm or a brain tumor. They're attacking your third eye. And something about either tension headaches, pain in the head. They're attacking your crown chakra as well, of course. And all your lower chakras, too. You're out of your seven, you know what I mean? I will do a whole, um, seven chakra cleanse. Okay, I will cleanse all your- You have way more than just seven, but, um... I would definitely be... And I'm also getting, um... The justice system is going to throw the book at them and, like, take chop their head off with this. What, what evidence they have against your ex... There's a lot of um, evidence. I, I don't know. I'm seeing um, flash drives in my third eye, like a pile of, tra of tra uh, uh, flash drives or hard drives, whatever they're called. Some about a laptop with a lot of evidence on it. Something about a child or children or something. It looks like a child's head. It looks like a child's skull. Somebody's getting caught up with... Somebody's definitely messing around with necromancy. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. They're getting caught up with, like, bones or something. Like, they're gonna get caught up with, like, skeletons. Actual real skeletons. Um, there's some, I'm also seeing somebody in a grave site right now in my third eye. My left ear is blasting. Digging up graves. Oh, my left ear is going like crazy right now. And I'm hearing like a... 
maybe alarm was si um, a silent alarm going off. That's exactly what it sounds like. Or like a there goes again. It's exactly what it sounds like. Okay, the authorities could have put up like uh, I'm seeing like a red beam or something like they could have put up on um, motion detectors or something or like or whatever by the cemetery. There it goes again. But um, I'm seeing somebody literally digging up a grave and like taking jewelry. You know how when you pass away, they, they put you know jewelry and stuff. They're grave robber. Somebody has a grave robber, and it's somebody's ex here. Somebody, somebody's ex here is not only a grave robber. They're taking, which is absolutely disgusting. I can't stand when somebody steps on on somebody's grave. I think it's so disrespectful. Let alone to be that disgusting that you're going to really go and dig somebody's grave up, open their coffin, and steal not like their property not only that they're taking some of their remains to do this necromancy y'all going to help that one. Oh shit let me restart this <laughs> 